Yes, well, one professional league just finished their season on Monday night as the Tampa Bay Lightning were crowned Stanley Cup champs. Another league is just getting into playoffs, and that would be Major League Baseball. One of those leagues maybe not all of us believed would see a postseason after a rocky return to action during this pandemic, but here we are. The MLB playoffs that open up with four games will look different with 16 teams starting with the best of three wildcard round with all postseason games being held at neutral sites. The Los Angeles Dodgers are expected World Series favorites this season and begin that journey to break the 32-year hiatus on Wednesday against the Milwaukee Brewers. A team featuring Centennial grad Corbin Burns, who has become one of the Brewers' hottest pitchers, regaining his spot in the rotation after a down 2019. But Burns was placed on the IL last week after straining his left oblique and potentially ending his bounce-back season. Meanwhile, LeBron James and his Los Angeles Lakers are gearing up to face his former team the Miami Heat for an NBA Finals showdown that will cap an unforgettable season in the bubble something James has called the hardest thing he's ever had to do in his career despite locking in on the goal of reaching the finals from the beginning that's just been my mindset you know throughout these I don't even know how many days it is whatever how many days it is it feels like five years so it really doesn't matter but uh, I've been as locked in as I've ever been in my career so while the Lakers and Heat are grateful to have outlasted the competition and the bubble life itself, just three weeks into the season, we're now seeing the strain of playing in a pandemic hit the NFL. As of Tuesday morning, the Tennessee Titans had eight positive COVID tests, three players and five staffers. The Titans sent everyone home at the team's facilities and shut down the buildings until at least Saturday. Meanwhile, the Minnesota Vikings, who the Titans just played, have also shut down operations as a precaution for at least 24 hours. This stoppage may have an impact on the Titans and Steelers matchup set for this Sunday, which has been discussed to be moved to Monday or Tuesday or even possibly be moved to a later week altogether to give the Titans time to prepare if they aren't allowed in their facilities until Saturday. Meanwhile, according to the Las Vegas Review Journal, the Las Vegas Raiders are investigating an event hosted by Darren Waller for his foundation on Monday night, which was attended by several players, including Derek Carr, who you can see in videos on Twitter were not wearing masks along with a group of more than 100 attendees. The journal also reported that the city of Henderson has already fined the country club that hosted the event $2,000 for COVID-19 violations. The NFL will likely look into this event, especially following the Titans' positive cases. It was the hope to see a WNBA Finals featuring Greg McCall's two daughters, Erica McCall and Dewana Bonner, but unfortunately, that will not be the case. Erica's Minnesota Lynx were swept by the Seattle Storm during the semis this past week, while Dewana and the Connecticut Sun were just knocked out by the Las Vegas Aces in a very tight Game 5 matchup where the Aces prevailed 66-63. to It will still be such a cool memory for this basketball family, while the two sisters got to share a once-in-a-lifetime experience in the Wubble through playoffs. Speaking of family, the CSB wrestling family is losing a key piece of their own after head coach Manny Rivera recently decided to step down for personal reasons. Assistant coach Luke Smith will assume the interim head coach tag after two years working under Rivera as an assistant. All runners teams are still waiting on a return to action, but Smith will be eager to begin his first head coaching gig at the end of October. Wishing both of them the best of luck. For 23ABC Sports, I'm Carrie Osep. Back to you.